colorful, they're bright, they're legible. Mm -hmm. um, they they are appropriately scaled for uh, walkers and bikers. And the bridge has, has, I think, very thoughtfully incorporated the art in the most meaningful place. The original bridge design was designed to just be a, a classic bridge that's solid in the middle and so you've got you know several hundred feet of dark space under here and it would just be another bridge spanning the river very bare now you've got the pedestrian benches the, the lower pedestrian cycle bridge you've got this fabulous artwork it's a great connection because it, people can come from town and you're six and a half miles from downtown it's a great little place to have a break we met with uh, Tommy Fitzpatrick the artist on the east side of the bridge with streams and valleys with the Edwards Ranch uh, Clear Fork Development Group and, uh, and the Fort Worth Public Art uh, colleagues. The image of the Cowboys was given to me uh, directly by uh, the uh, Edwards Ranch and uh, I used the historical figures of uh, the actual cowboys working on this ranch to incorporate into the first panel to um, speak to that ranching history and uh, there is also a great significance in this being this last large area of land that is now going to be under development that was at, from the original Edwards ranch. The center panel represents the current trail users um, biking and walking and the panel with the kayaker represents the hopefully future continued usage um, expansion of recreation into the water. Fort Worth is incredibly fortunate and the residents are very fortunate for what art brings to the city and uh, the Fort Worth Public Art as an organization is a, a still a young organization and I already see that they have done so much. I think this is still very much a discussion and education process. I think that we, this, as you know, this bond election is going to be the most vetted bond election that we've had. We want public input. We want people to tell us what they want in this bond election. And in the past bond elections, we've had 2% for public art, and we need to continue to hear from people. They want to maintain that if they want it changed to 1%, one5 or how they want it done. And there are several, you know, several different council people who have different opinions on it. As a society, we'll be remembered by how the, the mark we left on our culture and civilization. And, and the way we're remembered is through art and architecture. 